Are there any study habits that you found not to be effective? Um, you've, you've mentioned this in so many videos and I also found the same true. Um, whenever you, you do a problem and you get stuck and you can't solve it, it's very tempting to just look at the solution because um, there's several paths that you could go. And I, sometimes I felt like if I, if I just try it and then it's the wrong path, I felt like I was wasting time. Um, whereas if I could just look at the solution, it, it'd be faster. But in the long run, it doesn't help you um, conceptually learn how to approach different problems because on your test you're not going to have the exact same type of question you'll have um, perhaps some kind of new conceptual problem and you have to figure it out on the spot on the test for example so I, I think it's good to struggle through the problems and um, before you look at the solution um, but of course I think there's a limit to how much time you should put into one problem um, what was your limit <laughs> uh, I think around 30, 30 minutes, I, sometimes I would just, I would get frustrated and th I wanted to throw my book away, I didn't, but um, 30 minutes I would just stop and take a breather, coffee break or something and, and uh, come back to it and check the solution. Yeah. But um, I did find that your, your course was better because of the layouts, so you had the problem introduction. Um, so before I attempt, first I tried the problem without looking at the hints, but if, if it was a problem I struggled on, then I, I could play your hints and that put me in the correct direction without giving me the solution immediately so that I could still struggle through the problem and, uh, remember what I did. That's awesome. Okay. Then I'm going to make sure to do that in the afternoon as well giving those hints just to make sure the students like struggle through the problem before giving out the solution. Um, and I think struggling through a problem for 30 minutes, I think that's actually really good because a lot of students, I feel like, you know, 10 minutes in 15 minutes in that's the maximum they can do. And then they're impatient and they just want to look at the solution. I usually recommend like between 30, 45 minutes, you know, struggling through the problem. And then another thing I usually recommend is that once you're done with the problem, take a step back and then just kind of look at it, you know, look at the big picture, like, and just try to re-explain it to yourself so that you reinforce the concepts. Because a lot of times we solve a problem and you're like, oh, okay, I see what she did. And then you write it down and move on to the next one. And it's like, it's not sure if you actually got it. So taking a second and just going over those steps one more time and just looking at the big picture is very important as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Was there anything specific that you did that helped you stay motivated while studying for the FE exam? Um, see, <laughs> I'm having trouble thinking about that question now. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a really good one though, right? Because like, especially, so here, think about it for a second. So you graduated 10 years ago. You are doing something completely different than your, than, you know, what you majored in. And, you know, and now you, you started studying again and you are in this path of like trying to remember the concept that you learned in college and trying to take this exam that has covers like 14 topics, right? That's a lot. So they must, what did you do that really kept you going and kept you motivated to keep going, right? Because I'm sure like at some point you felt frustrated because you couldn't remember the concepts and you know, you were just like tired and you were feeling overwhelmed, especially because you use Linda book, book, that big book. A lot of people, they just feel so intimidated and they don't want to even start studying for the AFD exam. You dived in into that. Like you were saying this book is like plain and like it's, it's hard and then you still dived in into that. So what was it that really kept you motivated? Um, okay, so we'll, 
of course, the ultimate goal of changing careers. Um, every time I, I'd have to work on, for example, a weekend or something, that gave me lots of motivation to study more because I did not want to work on a weekend um, at my current job. Uh, also, I, um, I think my study habits, like, um, I think you've talked about it some, at some point, like, I, I made a routine so that I, I don't have to motivate myself. I, every, every morning or every, uh, on the weekend, it'd be the morning too, but every morning I would just open my, I'd turn my computer on, open the handbook, open my study materials, get my scratch paper out, and I would force myself into that. And I also, one big thing for me, I was really distracted by social media or Facebook. So when I really wanted to study, I, I had to deactivate my Facebook because I didn't have the willpower to, to log out and just say, oh, I'm not going to log in. I didn't have that kind of willpower. Um, that was a huge distraction for me because it's like my email. I just naturally check it in my routine every few hours or something and uh i i had to just turn that off and it was challenging because uh, also when i when i joined your course you have the facebook group and <laughs> i didn't want to turn my facebook back on because of that but um towards the end i did i did i reactivated my facebook just so i could go into that group and get some uh feedback from other members and that that helped a lot and at that point, I wasn't distracted anymore, but initially I, I had to disconnect from that uh, social world in order to stay on track, I think. Yeah, um, and you brought up really good point and thank you for sharing that. I have some students who I like, each time I'm, I am on like Instagram to post something, I see them and I'm like, get off Instagram, go study a little bit for your FP. I think it's really important to remove that distraction because like, if you are studying and you just go, let me just check for a minute, that minute turns into 20 minutes. And not only that, it really distracts you. Now, when you go back to studying, you have to start from the beginning. You go, wait, where did I left off? And that takes another 30 minutes. And you just really like, it doesn't let you really dive in and just kind of absorb all the material and just kind of be focused. So I think, you know, I really like how you move social media just to kind of help you stay focused. And I'm also glad you brought up the study groups. So uh, there are also some like other students who don't have social media at all to begin with. They, and they like, and I asked them to join the Facebook group because I know how helpful it is. And they're just like, I don't have Facebook or I don't have Instagram, like they don't use social media. So what we decided, my team and I, is that we created study groups on GroupMe. And so that's what we've been actually working on the last two weeks. And we're just putting, uh, so a couple groups, so groups for engineers, a student, engineer students, and then also putting groups of students, of three or four students, and just kind of doing same discipline, uh, live almost close states because we don't want someone from California and New York trying to study right or one in Japan and one in California that that would be very like you're going to start in the morning you know the California the first students California is still sleeping so there's that like we're trying to do time zone and then also the discipline and all that so I think that could be very helpful because a lot of students who I talked to and also in the interviews, they felt like being in a study group really helps to keep you motivated. Um, and there's a benefit to that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments below which FE discipline you're taking. And don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure you hit the notification bell so you get notified each time I post new videos. Thank you guys for watching. Good luck with your studying and I will see you soon. A la prochaine. Oh yeah, everybody now.